Alright guys, we are back in freecodecamp.com doing the basic algorithm scripting, the bonfire section, repeat a string, repeat a string. So essentially what this quick bonfire wants to be is they want us to take our string, take in a number, and if it's ABC it comes back ABC, ABC, ABC. And uh, it turns out that uh, if you've been doing, uh, been uh, if you've done the previous bonfires, this this should kind of be a easy task. So the way I do it is I set up a empty array because we want to return a uh, we want to return a string. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the arrays every time that uh, we do it. So create an empty array, fill it with strings. Um, depending on how many uh, times on the number. And then we will then change the array of strings into a string and return that string. So we create our empty array. Here we create a variable, uh, a counter variable, just called i. So y i is less than our number. Uh, so y i is less than the number, increment i by one. And then in here, all we're gonna do is take our array and we're just going to dot push it, push um, str, push the string onto it. So uh, when you push to an array, it adds it to the empty array. So the first one will go to the zero index, the second one will go to the, the first index, and the third one will go, go to the second index. So, but we're, we need to return a string and not an array. So if we, um, let's go ahead and convert our holder array and then we want to say dot join and we want to join it each one of these on with no characters so if we were to return a space just so you could see it when we return it it's going to space ABC 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 but that's not correct so let's go ahead and return it and this should be everything we needed to do so um, you can see right here it returns ABC 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 so uh, let's go ahead and just put some comments in here to kind of, because I know we go by, th go through these things pretty quickly. So in the holder array, we create an empty array to store the strings. Um, here we just add strings based on how many times requested. Turn array of strings into a single string. And that's it. So create the empty array. Have a for loop that runs as many times as the uh, num parameter. And then just push it into the array and then turn it back into a single string. So that's what repeat a string, repeat a string. And there, as always, there's probably a couple different ways we can do this. This may not even be the best way, but for me, this was the quickest. So thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to thumbs up it and subscribe and leave me a comment if uh, anything I said was a little confusing or you have a better way of solving this. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And I appreciate all the comments that I get and all the questions I get in the comments. And I'm happy to answer them. So keep them coming. And I'll see you in the next video.